Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly forecast for June 6th through the 12th. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. I am setting the intention for the next seven days. However, you might stumble upon this video a few weeks from now, a few months from now, a few years from now. You're going to find it whenever it's time to hear the messages that are in it. Keep in mind, it's a general reading for the collective. Not every single message is going to resonate, so take what does, leave what doesn't. And without further ado, my dears and my darlings, we're going to connect here and see what messages are coming up for the Sagittarius Collective. I feel like we need one more good shuffle here. All right, my dears, let's do this. Let's see what's coming up for you. I'll move you just a little bit closer here. And the first card coming up for Sagittarius is the King of Swords. Now, I know a lot of people like to watch um, Tarot for Love and Romance. And so a lot of the times we're looking at the court cards, especially as somebody else coming into the situation. And traditionally, it can be seen as somebody coming into the situation. And that can be the case for some of you. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign person, a Libra, um, an Aquarius, or a Gemini. Um, this could also be uh, characteristics that you're coming into or that you're stepping into. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. In the weekly forecasts, I want to focus on you. I want to talk about you and your journey and less about other people. So when the King of Swords comes up, it can indicate that you're coming into a time of being a really effective communicator and becoming a really great negotiator. The King of Swords is the master of negotiation, and he's the master of finding the win-win solution in a situation. So, Sagittarius, if there is a uh, person that you are wanting to approach about a situation, it could be a work situation, it could be a family member, it could be something about your living arrangement, it could be something in your romantic relationship or marriage. There might be something that you want. The King of Swords says, go into this and present it in a logical way. Because if you present it in an emotional way, you're not going to get what you want. Even though you might be right, right? If you went to your boss and if you said, I've been here for five years already. I'm the first one here, the last one to leave. I work my butt off. I haven't had, you know, really any raises. I haven't been moved up. I deserve it. I, I've proven myself, you know, you might be right. You're absolutely right. But unfortunately, that's maybe not going to move them or motivate them. But if you went in with like, here's what I've done. And here's how I've been effective. And here is how I've been efficient. And here's how I've helped this business. Or here's how I helped this company. And here's where I have ideas to do more and to, and to do better. right? And I deserve a, an opportunity to uh, put these skills to use. That's going to get them listening. right? Or if it's like something in your living arrangement or in your personal relationship. If you can present it to this person where it's like, hey, here's what I want. And here's how you benefit by giving me what I want. Here's how we both benefit from this. If you can approach it in that way, ears are going to open up. People are going to be receptive. People are going to be on board with your ideas. But we want to approach it with logic and reason and how this helps everybody versus I deserve to have this. Now, as I'm saying, Sagittarius, you probably 1,000% do deserve it. But unfortunately, the way human nature is sometimes, people aren't going to hear that or be moved by that. So I feel like a lot of you are coming into effective negotiation, effective communication. King of Swords can also sometimes come up when somebody is approaching you to talk about a, a serious matter, right? Like they might be wanting to... Uh, lay down uh, a, a plan, something that they're wanting to do with you or some ideas that they have. There could be somebody running some ideas past you. Maybe they're wanting to, to work with you or they're wanting to get your opinion um, or make you some kind of an offer. Uh, King of Swords can also be consulting an expert about a matter. Okay, So if some of you are doing something right now in terms of self-employment, 
um, or planning for the future, it would be a good idea to seek out um, a financial planner or if you're doing something in terms of uh, self-employment or business, it might be a good idea to go talk to a lawyer and get some advice and get some guidance on how you can you know, protect your work or you know, go about things in a way where everything is official and on the up and up where you're not going to have issues later, right? To do things correctly, to have the appropriate permits and licenses and uh, waivers or whatever is required. The next card that's coming up here for you all is the Six of Coins. And the Six of Coins is a beautiful card that can indicate reciprocal energy. It can indicate receiving generosity, like uh, sometimes we're struggling or we're in a bad place, but there's this miracle that comes in, right? It's like all of a sudden help is here or, or, or the money comes in somehow. So it could be receiving generosity or assistance uh, during a very difficult time. Six of coins can also be uh, the ideal financial situation, which is like your debts are paid off or your debts are getting paid off. You have money put away for the future money continues to come in so you're able to continue to save money but you also have money to enjoy life and do the things that you enjoy doing and you also have money to be generous and help other people when you feel moved to do so so it's a very ideal situation in that way and it can also indicate reciprocal energy right if you're a Sagittarius and you're fed up because you feel like you always have to keep things together. You always have to keep things moving. You always have to, you know, check on everybody and everything and keep everything in line. Six of coins is reciprocal energy. This is going to be people who are coming in, who are equally invested, and who aren't leaving everything to you, right? There's an exchange. There's a fair exchange. So a lot of you are coming into flow. Flow, efficiency, uh, things coming to you effortlessly, things coming to you naturally, and just being in this in this energy of of give and take, okay? Cosmic, universal give and take. The next card that's coming up for you all is the Hierophant. And this could be Taurus energy because the Hierophant is representative of the astrological sign of Taurus. If you have Taurus placements, there can be big shifts or big changes for you happening in those areas of your life. Some of you are going to be presented with some opportunities, okay? The Hierophant comes up to remind us that as long as we're making our decisions based on our beliefs, our ethics, our morals, our priorities, our principles, we are going to be happy with the outcome. And we're going to align with even more opportunities and alliances that, that are going to be aligned with us, that are going to be long-lasting, that are going to make us happy. Hierophant can be commitment. It could also be marriage, okay? Some of you may be receiving an offer for marriage. Some of you may be receiving uh, a time of uh, 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 healing or clearing out issues in a relationship, moving towards marriage or uh, strengthening a marriage. Sometimes Hierophant can be indicative of, uh, of, of marriage stuff, but it's also traditions, it's also beliefs, it can also be contracts. So some of you may have a significant long-lasting contract that you might be coming into here um, in whatever area you're focusing. If it's a literal business or financial contract, if it's an emotional or spiritual contract, some of you may be coming into a significant contract um, or commitment here with the Hierophant energy. The next card coming up here for you all is the Six of Cups. So for some of you, whatever this offer is, it may be coming to you uh, from the past. Now, I know a lot of people get fed up because you're like, I'm sick and tired of you tarot readers. You're always telling me that the ex is coming back. I don't want to talk to the ex. They're dead to me. They're done. I don't, I'm not holding space for anyone or anything from the past. I'm not telling you that that is the case. Six of Cups can come up in a few different ways. And even if it's somebody from the past, it doesn't have to be a karmic ex. It could be a childhood friend. It could be someone that you met briefly, but 
the timing wasn't right to work together or to get together and now the timing is right and you all are linking back up it doesn't have to be taking back a terrible person nobody said that so but whatever this thing is it could be something coming up from the past some of you may have a previous employer that in your absence they're realizing how much they need you they may be calling you they may be reaching out to you and they may be trying to get you to come back and this is your chance to negotiate this is your chance to work out a, a deal that's going to benefit you and that is worth your while um you know some of you it could be a relationship it could be someone wanting to collaborate with you uh but here you have a chance to negotiate to communicate don't just be quick to just say okay yes sure because you have a chance here uh to create something very long lasting and very uh worth your while but a lot of you may be receiving a very generous a very generous significant offer you may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign um you may need a private reading which I'm more than happy to do for you There's a link in the description of the video that will take you to calendly.com/amethystangelite. You can schedule a private reading with me there. And for those of you who don't know, every single day on the channel, I've been posting a daily message that a lot of people have found helpful. So hopefully you can check that out and hopefully that might be helpful for you all as well. Um this was pretty short and sweet and to the point. Sagittarius, I feel like whatever's coming in is coming in quickly. Uh maybe you want to check out your moon sign, your rising sign just to get a feel of like what that might be for you because it is a general reading and sometimes when we check out our other placements it gives us a little bit more of an idea of how things are shifting in different areas of our life and that could be helpful in providing a little bit more information. I thank you all for watching. I hope you have a fabulous week ahead. Take care and be well, Sagittarius.